Hi, Dragon Hill here, and we're going to show how to use the new uh, raw input, well, not so new, uh, raw input for uh, joystick controllers here in Unreal, and we're using the FPS template. Um, as you can see, now let's go to Content Browser, yeah, and as we can see here, we are using the FPS template folder. And originally, I had been using uh, for joystick input, I was using this particular plugin called Controlesys. I'm not certain if that's how you pronounce it. Um, it actually works, but you have to use the tick function, and there was also some other side effects that I didn't like. Uh, and then I was looking through the new plugins, so we're going to look into built-in plugins for Unreal. And I'm going to just turn around and type in raw. And there we go. It's Windows raw input. Uh, so you enable this and then restart everything. Uh, but it's going to give you an interface to receive input from flight sticks, steering wheels, and other non-X input supported devices. I happen to be using a Thrustmaster Hottest Warthog. Uh, so we're going, so once you enable that and then restart, what ends up happening is that here in project settings, a new option appears called raw input. We'll click on that. And with raw input, um, what ends up happening is this device configurations will be set to zero. You'll just hit the plus sign. Um, so if I hit a plus sign now, you'll see we'll get another uh, array of options for another joystick. Uh, I'm going to turn around and uh, get rid of this. We don't want this, so we'll delete that. And in this particular setup, the original directions I had seen was for the Thrustmaster steering wheel, and they actually put in the uh, IDs, which would be you always you started out with zero X, and then the number the uh, ID would be, uh, for this particular was like zero four four F, and then the uh, the yeah that was the vendor ID, and then there's the product ID. Um, I found that to be somewhat problematic or not needed, so don't bother. Why? Because I believe here under register default device, click on that, and that'll take care of it. The downside is is that um, this profile will be assigned to whatever input device it first detects. Um, I'm assuming, it, and so this allows us to more precisely uh, set up what the properties for the axis and buttons are. Uh, so by default, we get uh, eight different axis properties, and we also get uh, up to 19, well, actually 20, uh, button properties. So we're going to just use the default here. Uh, one, Let's click on one. Come on, open up. By default, there'll be all these are enabled. Uh, number one is set to access two. So obviously, number there's a reason why I didn't start with zero, and I'll explain that in a moment. So if I open up zero, zero is set to access one. Uh, number one is set to access two. You get the idea. And by default, again, everything's enabled. Inverted is not, and actually, gamepad stick is not. Um, I I clicked on that. Let's go. We'll actually go to number seven. This should, yeah, you'll hear. Here's number seven. I haven't touched this. And this is by default. Inverted is not ticked. Gamepad stick is not ticked. Offset is zero. Uh, enabled is on, though. Uh, so what I discovered was that uh, I'm using the joystick. I assumed that zero would be the X and one is the Y. Not on the Thrustmaster. This, this threw me for a while. I was using the axis one, and I was getting uh, uh, the, the characters kept running forward and doing stupid stuff. Or actually moving sideways, doing stupid stuff. Um, so, in fact, for my Thrustmaster, one will be for the Y, and two will be for the X. Uh, and you'll see here with Y, I have it inverted. I use the joystick for movement, and so pushing the joystick forward, we actually for the correct output, we actually, this makes the character go forward. And of course, for left, right, we leave it as it is. Now, gamepad stick, if we highlight this, you'll see here, it's saying that the output will be from negative one to one. Without this, the values are generally zero to one. A lot of uh, controllers, that's what they output. Uh, brake, brake pedals and whatnot, a lot of times are zero to one. Now, an offset was how you could uh, adjust that in the past. And why is that? Well, if you're going from 0 to 1 and you, in fact, want a negative to a positive 
forward backward, you could offset by negative point, point 0.5. And now you've got a range from negative 5 to positive 5, which you could modify later on. And we'll show that in a moment. But because, and by the way, this gamepad uh, stick option is new. Uh, it wasn't in 4.22. It's available in 4.24. I don't know about 2.3, but I'm just saying that uh, in 4.22, this was not available, this option. So now that we've we've assigned, because I'm just going to use the two axes from the joystick right now, we've assigned this uh, what we want. Um, we are going to now go back up to our input. And this is what's beautiful about this, is we don't have to get into the blueprints and do anything. It's going to automatically just pass through. So we'll go here to Axis Mapping, and we're going to go to Move Forward. And you'll see here that uh, all you got to do is hit the plus sign, and bingo. You'll get, and you can turn around, and there is, uh, this wasn't here before, the generic USB controller, now it is. And we can select our axis. And like I was saying, when you want to move forward backward, I want to use the Y axis, so I'll pick the axis 2. And when we move sideways, we want to use the X axis, which for some reason is axis 3. Uh, and as you can see, I've already done this. I now have generic USB controller, axis 2, scale 1. Um, if you want, and, and this was a case where if you didn't use the uh, previous, um, you know, use joystick and you, you use the offset, you can then multiply the, uh, the scale by 2. And then that would have turned 0.5 to negative 0.5 to negative 1, and positive 0.5 to, again, 1. Um, the way the uh, the current move forward, the down button, when you press this, this gives a negative one. And then the up button, and you can, you can see why the scale. This is what they did. So when someone presses the down button, we are going to set our move forward to a negative one. So we'll move backwards. And then, again, when you press up, we'll do a positive one and move forward. The... Uh, we also the W key, same thing. W key and uh, the S is, is negative one. So there, there we have it. Uh, and then, and also we didn't have to invert. We could have instead of inverting the Y, we could have pre put a negative uh, one if we wanted, and we've gotten the same effect. Uh, I just decide not to, to do that. I'm, I just assume use the invert option. So here we have it. We have our move forward. We have our move right, and that's it. We're done. We can now just go hit File Save, Save All, and then we're going to hit Play. And sure enough, uh, this is a Dragon Hill game, so things are a little bit different. Uh, I can change my team if I want. Um, different classes, Dragon, the Dogman, whatever, else. get the idea. We're going to stick with the Dragon, and we'll hit Play. And we're going to jump in. And sure enough, I move the for, uh, joystick forward, and I start. There we go. See? And it's proportional, too. Nice and slow. I can move super fast. Slow, move fa super fast. And then, of course, sideways. Start going sideways, slow, and then fast. So there we go. We got a full got our full joystick direction. And, yeah, I, I did set up the uh, the blueprint so we kind of kind of move sideways and backwards together. I also set the fire button. We'll, we'll get back to that in a moment. So here we go. We'll hit fire. Boom! There we go. See, and that's him shooting his fireball. The um, just for anybody who's wondering, I'm having some problems with this. Uh, if you get too close, uh, I see. I, I'm inside the uh, special effect, and I'm not seeing. It. Uh, and sometimes it misfires for some reason. It might be a replication issue. So we're gonna stand here and Alt Tab over to the other, change team, and hit play. And I want to show that we actually fixed a error. The controlly sys was having a problem where if I shot or you know with one character, both characters would fire. Now that I have tied this into the correct input system, uh, here I'm in two separate windows and the controls are properly you know isolated. When I'm, I'm with this guy, he's doing his thing. I switch back over to this guy and sure enough, they're all separate. everyone's working just fine cool and I just want to get back to the, the fire uh, just for anybody who's wondering go back to project settings and sure enough back up to action mapping fire we turned around and added generic USB controller button one and then that automatically handles any firing of your character 
uh, we can turn around and add um, the global generic USB controller buttons, different ones, to all these other uh, actions if we want. And it will automatically just map in as if you were using the keyboard. So there we have it. Um, I hope I covered everything you need. We're just going to, once again, this is going to be in the plugins, the built-in plugins, so you don't have to worry about downloading from your, uh, your marketplace. Uh, and like I said, just raw. You can type in raw, and there we go. Uh, yeah, and uh, that's it. Anyway, thanks for watching.